What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys have all been doing awesome and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome and consider hitting the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all things orthodontics. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today what we're going to be talking about is potentially one of the most asked questions I've had on this channel and that is, why do orthodontists extract teeth? So let's go. I want to preface today's video by saying that there are many different reasons as to why your orthodontist may recommend extraction of your permanent teeth. And what I'm talking about in today's video is by no means a recommendation, it's just explaining as to why orthodontists sometimes recommend extractions of permanent teeth. So today what we're going to be talking about is the five most common reasons why your orthodontist may recommend extraction of permanent teeth. So one of the reasons your orthodontist may recommend extraction of permanent teeth is simply because there is not enough space. So this is when you have teeth that are just too big for your jaws, meaning that you have big teeth and small jaws. A lot of the times you can see this in your mouth when you start having crowding amongst all the teeth. Certain teeth may not be able to fit into the arch and you might start seeing some teeth overlap with one another. This is one indication for when your orthodontist may recommend extraction of permanent teeth simply because there's not enough room to align all of the teeth. In orthodontics, there's three primary ways we can make space if we have overcrowded teeth. One is by expanding the upper jaw by using an expander, which I'll link out to a video about over here. Sometimes though, you might be too old for this or you simply may not be able to expand the arches enough to accommodate for all the teeth. Another way we can make space is by proclining the teeth, which means leaning the teeth forward to make it so that there's more room to align the remaining teeth. But in certain cases, this may not be ideal because it might make it difficult for your lips to close and this also may be unstable so that you might have a higher chance of relapse. And the third way we can make space is by making room by either one, thinning the teeth or by two, removal of teeth. When we have so much crowding that these three techniques aren't possible to accommodate the space necessary, your orthodontist may recommend extraction of your permanent teeth to make enough room to line up the remaining teeth. The second reason why your orthodontist may recommend extractions is due to protrusion. Protrusion is the fact that your lower and upper teeth lean too far forward and make it so that your lips look too full and you can't close your lips fully. This can be seen in certain patients when they close their lips, there may be straining of the chin because the muscles are trying to close over the lips to create a seal so that you can breathe through your nose, which is the natural way we should be breathing. So in cases when we're extracting teeth for protrusion, yes, we can change your profile by bringing your teeth back, but this would be an ideal change in your profile. The goal when we extract in protrusion is to retract your teeth backwards so that your teeth are more upright in the bone, which is one, more stable, and two, allows for the lips, which are being supported by the teeth, to also come back to a more natural position. A third reason why your orthodontist may recommend extraction of permanent teeth is due to your midlines being off. A lot of the times, if you lose a baby tooth too early, all the teeth will start shifting over to that side, which will cause a discrepancy in your midlines in relation to your face. The reason we would use extractions in this case would be to make space on the other side so that we could shift all your teeth over so that your dental midlines can be on with your facial midlines. A fourth reason why we would recommend extraction of permanent teeth is sometimes you have a jaw discrepancy or an asymmetry. This is when you have a overbite or what is properly termed an overjet where your upper teeth are too far forward in relation to your lower teeth or an underbite where your lower teeth are too far forward in relation to your upper teeth. Let's say you have a severe overbite that isn't severe enough to require surgery and you can camouflage this by using orthodontics and extractions. Your orthodontist may recommend extraction of two teeth on the top to bring the upper front teeth backwards so that you don't have as large of an overjet. A similar thing can also be done on the lower. Let's say you have an underbite on the lower. Your orthodontist may recommend extraction of some teeth on the bottom to make space to bring your lower front teeth backwards so that you no longer have an underbite. Now, this may not be possible in all scenarios. In certain cases, orthodontics alone is not enough to camouflage for a skeletal discrepancy. So in certain cases, 
you may need to undergo jaw surgery, which I'll talk about in a future video if you guys are interested. The fifth reason why your orthodontist may recommend extractions is if you have something called impactions. Impactions is when you have permanent teeth that are stuck in the bone that aren't coming in. The most common teeth that are impacted are your wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth are your third molars, which are the furthest teeth back in your mouth, and a lot of the time there simply is just not enough room for these teeth. If your wisdom teeth are impacted, your orthodontist may recommend these teeth be extracted so that they don't interfere with your permanent teeth that have been lined up throughout treatment. In certain cases, you may have teeth that are impacted towards the front, like your canines. In cases like this, it's very case specific. Sometimes we may need to extract, while, whereas in other times, we might not have to. But the most commonly extracted teeth because of impactions are your wisdom teeth or your third molars. A lot of the times I get asked, will extractions change my profile? And the answer to that really depends on the reason why we're extracting. If we're extracting because of severe crowding, the answer is usually no. Because what's going to happen is there's so much crowding that by simply removing those two teeth, we just have enough room to line up the teeth where they wanted to be. Does that make sense? Because let's imagine that we have only so much room for all the teeth to be lined up and two teeth are blocked out, right? If we were to extract and bring those two blocked out teeth into the dental arch, the form of the arch didn't change at all. We just made enough room so that your permanent teeth would come in. Now your lips will be in the same position as they started and there would be no change on your profile. But let's say we're extracting for reasons of protrusion or big overbites. In those cases, yes, your profile will be changed, but for the better. Because patients that have very protrusive profiles have very full lips and are unable to close their lips around the teeth. So when we extract in those cases and we bring your front teeth backwards to a more stable position, and you'll have a more favorable profile. So when we extract for orthodontics, a lot of the times we do it to improve your profile, not to make things worse. This is a conversation you should be having with your orthodontist though if you're not sure or if you're worried about this. So be sure to bring it up at your initial exam with him or her. And remember, these are not steadfast facts. These aren't the only reasons why we would extract. And also a lot of the times we may not have to extract for these reasons. There may be other ways around it. So please, I encourage you to have an open conversation with your orthodontist at your appointment so that you know what to expect and they know what your concerns are. Like I said, there are other reasons why to we extract and other reasons why we don't extract. So this is just a broad blanket statement to help clarify a lot of your concerns that you guys have raised on this channel. If you've had orthodontic extractions, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any other questions that you don't feel as though I answered properly in today's video or you want me to go into more detail about, please leave them below as well and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. As always, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all this content and follow me on Instagram at Dr. Greg Ortho. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. For now, Dr. Greg, out.